Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel and in today's video I am going to show you how to create custom loading alert dialog in Android Studio. Here you can see that in our app we have a button when we will click on this button you will see a beautiful loading alert dialog. So guys video is going to be more important and before start please I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos. Let's start. So first of all here you can see that we have created a simple Android Studio project and now we will create a layout file so to create the layout file inside the resource folder right click on the layout folder new and layout resource file i'm going to name this dialog underscore layout press ok button and click on the design and from here we have to type here progress bar so we'll drag and drop our progress bar inside our activity and now we will constrain our view horizontally so we will click on horizontally in parent this will constrain our view to the horizontally we will constrain our view to the top and i am going to give margin top 16 dp and now we have to drag and drop a text view inside our layout so a text view constrain it to the bottom of our progress dialog constrain it horizontally and uh, i'm going to give margin top 16 dp here we have to type android colon to text is equal to loading and text size should be 18 st that's it and finally here we have to type the padding 50 dp and the width of our complete layout file would be wrap content so guys here you can see that we have created a simple design for our dialogue let's move on now we will create a java class so we can use our dialogue in multiple activities to create the java class you have to click on this folder com.example.customalert dialog so click on new and java class i'm going to name this loading alert press enter button so our java class has been created now here we have to create a constructor so we will type here loading alert inside this we will pass our activity my activity and inside our constructor first of all we will create two objects activity is equal is activity semicolon and the second object would be alert dialog so i'm going to name this object dialog and inside our constructor we have to type here dialog is equal to my activity semicolon outside to our constructor we have to create a function to start our dialog so we will type here void start alert dialog and inside this function we will write our code that will show our custom alert dialog so i will type here alert dialog dot builder builder is equal to alert dialog dot builder and we will pass our activity inside this function so it is showing me an error just click on insert new uh, sorry i forgot the new keyword because you know when we create a new object we use new word in java next we will type here layout inflator inflator is equal to activity dot get layout inflator semicolon builder dot set view and here we have to type inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot dialog alert so here we have to type the name of our custom uh, layout file in our layout folder and now we have to type here comma space alert. semicolon next we have to type here builder dot set cancelable is equal to true what this line will do when your user will uh, click outside to your dialog button your dialog will disappear if you will make it false your dialog will not disappear if your user will click any side of your screen next we have to type here dialog is equal to builder dot create and dialog dot show it is giving us an error let's see what is error so click on this bulb icon and uh, click here migrate that's it our code has been completed to show the alert dial dialog next we have to create a function that will close our dialog so we will type here void close alert dialog and inside this function we will type dialog dot dismiss semicolon that's it our loading java our loading alert dot java code have been completed and before closing this file we will name our these two object to private now we will close our this java file and also we will close our this layout file inside your main activity we will create a button here i'm going to delete this hello world and constrain this button horizontally and vertically as well when user will click on this button we will show our alert dialog so i'm going to na name this button like btn 
btn alert and that's it go to main activity dot java and here we have to declare our button button btn alert semicolon and inside the on create method we have to type here btn alert is equal to find view by id r dot id dot btn alert so we have initialized our button now we have to set an on click listener to our button btn alert dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and uh, First of all, we will create a new object of our loading alert class. So I will type here loading alert is equal to loading alert is equal to new loading alert and we will pass our context here. I mean main activity and inside our on click listener, we will type here loading alert dot start alert dialog. That's it. So it is giving an SR. Click on change first parameter. That's it. Okay guys, our code has been completed. Now let me just run the app so I can show you the output. So guys, there is a little bit error in our app. We have to solve this. Here we don't have to type main activity. We have to type here activity. Here we have to type the word activity but not the dialog. Okay, we will again run our app. So guys, here you can see that our app has been run successfully and when I will click on our button, it will show us a beautiful loading alert dialog. So I hope you must enjoy this video and if you have any question, Related to this tutorial, you can ask us in the comment section. We will try to answer your question. And please share this video with your those friends who want to learn Android apps development. And finally, thanks for watching.